What's going on guys, Joe Munoz, OneStepPrep.com. This is a follow-up video to a video I shot earlier where I asked why do we turn on the yellow electric pump when we're gonna start engine number two on a single engine taxi for the A320. Now look, the reason is because as many of you left in comments below and you were spot on, it's to have the PTU conduct a self-test. That's the short answer, but let's go back into a little more detailed explanation. You see the PTU or the power transfer unit will operate when there is a pressure difference between the green and yellow hydraulic system of approximately 500 PSI. The PTU has several inhibiting conditions, one of which is the master switch is being split with either the nose wheel steering disconnect pin installed or the parking brake set. Now, of course, when we're at the gate, we have the nose wheel steering disconnect pin installed and throughout the duration of our pushback, we also have that nose wheel steering disconnect pin installed. So let's just walk through a typical pushback here, the starting of the number one engine. And then later on, when we finally get to the starting of the number two engine, what we can expect to see in terms of uh, why we turn off that yellow electric pump first and then we move into the engine start. So first and foremost, right, we're at the gate, we have that nose wheel steering pin dis uh, disconnect installed, we begin our pushback, and we have the master switches split when we begin the engine start, right? So captain says start engine one, we start engine one, our master switches are now split, and when they're split with the nose wheel steering disconnect pin, we do have the PTU inhibited. Once our pushback is complete, our ground crew says parking brake set, pushback complete, set parking brake, parking brake gets set, and now, yes, we have the nose wheel steering pin that's about to be disconnected, and finally the captain says brake set, right? Clear to disconnect, show me the pin. Well, they show you the pin, okay? They pull it out and they show you the pin. The pin's gone. And now we have the master switch is split still because we're single engine taxing, but the parking brake is set. So now we have another inhibiting factor. So first it was the nose wheel steering, now it's the parking brake. We still have master switch split. PTU hasn't yet had the opportunity to try and do its self-test, right? Because we've inhibited it via these two conditions. And now here comes yet another inhibiting condition, which is, well, take away that 500 PSI difference by doing what? Part of the after start flow for single engine taxi is we're gonna put the yellow electric pump on. So we're gonna turn on the yellow electric pump, which brings up, right, our yellow system PSI to match the green system at 3000 PSI. We no longer have that 500 PSI difference. And as a result, when we release the brake, which would be that inhibiting factor, because we have that pressure difference now taken care of, it's been rectified via the yellow electric pump, we can continue taxiing without the need of having that PTU operational. Finally, now when we begin to start the engine number two, we go yellow electric pump off first. Now we have that drop, okay, in PSI for the yellow hydraulic system that creates that 500 PSI differential, which has the PTU activate because there's no other inhibiting factors such as a nose wheel steering disconnect or the parking brake set to inhibit that uh, operation. Finally, now when we start engine number two, right, get that 3000 PSI to come up and we equalize that 3000 PSI so the PTU is no longer needed. But basically what you should know from that previous video that I recorded is, yeah, the yellow electric pump is indeed turned off first so that we provide an opportunity for the PTU to conduct its test. Meaning it, we can actually see, right, if we're gonna get that PTU operation based on the conditions that are preset, which is that 500 PSI differential. Hope this video finds you well. Hope you and your family are well. A lot of great things going on here at One Step Prep. Stay tuned with us as we begin to move our office location just downstairs. We're on the fifth floor right now. We're going downstairs. We're gonna have a new and improved studio, a lot more space, and really some great things coming here in the very near future to One Step Prep. Joe Munoz, Juan Dominguez, JJ, your friends and training program success. We'll see you in another video.